We're here today with Christian Easter Day, Managing Director of Hot Chili. Christian, thanks for your time. Yeah, good to be here again. Now, they say drilling drives interest. Clearly your results have. Yeah, we, uh, we were very fortunate to, to finish the year extremely strong. It's, it's not every day you, you uh, achieve a, a near 1,000 metre drilling intercept from surface um, on a major copper gold porphyry discovery, which you know, from our acquisition in February this year has, a, has really just been a surprise packet. And um, so now we're, we're sitting here contemplating whether we're one of the, the, the very big benefactors of the world are, are, are potentially sitting on one of the next tier one copper gold discoveries. And what drew you to that specific location to put that hole in? Sure, well, I, I, Cordadera itself was 14 kilometres uh, away from a 100 million dollar investment by the company and it's a product tour project. And you know, initially we, we, we envisaged putting two very large deposits together into a central processing arrangement and um, we were very fortunate to be able to secure Cordadera in a deal in February. Um, and the, the project has been performing extremely well with drilling intercepts and we've seen it you know, increasingly grow in size and now in grade uh, since we started drilling this thing in April. But more importantly, the last six holes are part of our phase two drilling program. In July, we recorded a world-class drilling result um, intersecting 750 metres at 0.6 copper, 0.2 gold. But importantly, um, you know, discovering a high grade zone, nearly 200 metres at 1% copper and a half a gram gold. You know, and that rates up there as you know, some of the some of the best grades for bulk tonnage underground plays. Um, it's just that this underground grade that we're hitting sits below a deposit that goes through to surface and will undoubtedly carry a large open pit. So uh, we've been drilling that um, now since since April. Uh, we've just put our sixth diamond hole successfully into that high grade zone, and we've been seeing that high grade zone in particular on the largest porphyry um, growing exponentially. So. So we couldn't be happier. So where to from here? Look, I think next year is a, is a, is a very, very big year for the company where we've been able to rewrite the company's market cap from 10 million to 60 million. We're one of the top performers this year. And while that sounds like a, like a big achievement, um, we've got our eyes on a much bigger prize. Uh, if we are indeed one of the only companies in the world holding a tier one copper asset, and that is very, very substantial for anyone in the industry. You know, 2019 shape corded era is probably one of the best global discoveries going around next year. Uh, let's see that deliver into resources and de-risking as we start advancing this towards that level. So a discovery of this nature would clearly attract interest from investors outside of the normal resources retail end. How have you found it? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, the demographic of our investor base is changing. Uh, since February, we, we've seen a, a, some 700 new investors uh, in our shareholder base. Um, but more importantly, you know, with each one of these uh, these world-class drilling intercepts that Cordadera is producing, you know, a number of weeks ago, we we, uh, we welcomed a number of very large institutions uh, into into the company's uh, registry uh, through a placement, and um, very happy to have on some. Uh, some very deep pocketed large funds into the company and and you know we, we've had a significant amount of corporate interest and we have advisors appointed to, to manage that process of, of discussions so you know, it's always very exciting when you have uh, the institutional and fund space starting to stand up and take notice um, the corporate uh, players in the industry and very large copper companies sending their teams to to look at the project so you know it is, it is very much a, a story that's unfolding it's an un, and it's unfolding quite quickly. A very Merry Christmas clearly for Hot Chili shareholders and also a recognition of the hard work and the perseverance that's gone into getting to this point. It hasn't been an overnight success but it clearly is a reward on the horizon. Yeah um, like I said you know it's uh, I'm not too ashamed of talking about spending nearly 10 years of my life building Product Toro and what looks like a satellite pit to the elephant that was always sitting next to us. So we got there and that, that as you say, that's, that's all about persistence and patience in this game and um, never losing sight of the vision that you started with.